reviews and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to solve crash to desktop on some games depending on which ones uh, some examples are Shogun 2 um, Red Faction Armageddon these are the ones that I had problems on there's probably loads of others but this is one solution on how to stop crashing to the desktop this is mainly for the people who you know they can get on the main menu of the game alright you know they can watch the cuts cut scenes and everything but maybe they had problem when it actually got onto the playing the game and you were in the gameplay and it just crashed so what you this is one of the reasons and so first go to computer over here and then if you have two hard drives you know you have steam maybe it's games on steam maybe it's a different game that's just on its own if you install your game on not your main hard drive but this one like your second hard drive this is my one I because hard drives are so expensive I brought a external one took it apart put it in my computer and then uh, used that one which is a terabyte and I have my steam games on that and I was wondering why the hell aren't my steam games working so obviously I went on here steam was in here it was all steam steam apps and everything so what I decided looking on the internet constantly uh, there was no solution but the way I did it was this obviously was an external hard drive or maybe some other hard drive that wasn't formatted in the right uh, way you needed so like this one's formatted so it can have windows on it um, maybe this is different formats I mean there's so many formats around there that work with so many computers it's different all you need is to to a reason to sort this out for an external hard drive if you have Steam an external hard drive or any other games on external hard drive is to format this to the right one so to do that you can either right click I think this is how you do it and press format and then format it to the right one or if you want to double check which one you want and what your format of your external hard drive is is you get the control panel system and security um, advanced tools and it is in computer management probably not really go to system security again and you go to create a format or hard disk partition we want disk management we want this no we don't want that we want this this one we want this management. So when it loads this data, you'll have all the data on here. So like you know your free space, your layout, your recovery petitions, everything you got on there. So like you got your normal disk, disk one, your CD-ROM drive, how much is on the CD that you put in there, how much is on your disk one, unallocated space. So that's like the stuff that you can't actually install stuff on. It's just like. I really have no really no clue what that's there for. And then you have your main hard drive which will have your boot on obviously and your system. Your recovery partition if you have one. And then your one where your Steam games on. This can be different to any. You could have like five in here. I just have two because it's big enough for what I need. Um, obviously this is my one. And right here is what format it is. Um, format it is in. So it says up here as well, like the CD drive will be CDFS, it's for CD. Um, my one first, before I formatted it, said FAT32, which is up here. And that was the problem. It should have been NTFS. And you probably think, oh, that's stupid, obviously it should have been that. It's, well, some people won't know, I didn't know until a little while ago. So I just thought maybe I should format my hard drive and change it to the one that is my primary hard drive. So obviously I did that and they started working. This is because NTFS is the Windows one and it pretty much just works Windows, no Mac or anything on Linux or anything. And it's quicker than FAT32. FAT32, however you say it. I say FAT so it's funny. But yeah, and that's how it works as FAT32 is for like Mac, Ubuntu, Linux, it all works with all of those Windows, 
but it's just not something you'd install games on. It'd be like photos and videos. I guess the whole point of an external hard drive is for photos and videos. But it was just cheaper, so I bought that. And all you had to do is really format it to NTFS, and you've got yourself a fast hard drive that will play all your games to an extent of your computer's graphic and processing ability, really. So that's one way of doing it. Obviously, to format your hard drive, if you don't know, you go f go to um, how do I do this? Uh, format, and then I'm not going to do it because you know I don't want to format my hard drive and not wipe everything up on there. That'll be pointless. But yeah, you just press yes, and then it will format, and then you obviously reinstall everything that'll go on there, back up everything on. The well, let's get back everything on your other hard drive, and you're fine, and your game should work. So, that's just a really quick tutorial on how to make that work. So, I hope you enjoyed.